Well, hello there, are you gorgeous people? Um, just a preface before this video begins, I am hella awkward in it, and I don't know what I'm doing, I'm really bad at explaining, and I talk really, really fast, so I am so sorry. On Tumblr, Teenage Eagle Runner has asked me to do this little tutorial on sewing. I did a little bit of a tutorial, kind of, for my speed edit. It wasn't really a tutorial, but it was more just of a watch me do things, learn how to do it through my doing it type of thing. But I realized that that's not enough, because it is still confusing, and so they've asked me a couple times and I just have said I was gonna do it and never have because I'm shy. So here we are today with this video. So the whole premise of this video is sewing. A marvelous designer, MD if you're nasty, but sewing. It's very confusing if you've never done it before in the actual application, but do not fret my dear. I'm here for you to learn from the master of nothing because I am horrible but here we have this example top which is a gorgeous little top that I made in like three seconds because it's you know not that revolutionary but if you're wondering what all these weird lines are they are the sewing lines. Sewing can be very difficult. It is a little confusing once you get down to it, but once you learn how to do it and how to do it in the correct way, and a little few tips and tricks I can give you to help you figure it out, it's much, much, much easier. So this top with all the sewing lines completed looks like this. She's a gorgeous little like Capri Lynx t-shirt sleeve shirt thing. Yeah, so this is that. But <laughs> with everything sewn together, it looks like this. With everything not sewn together, it looks like this. And it will just fall to the ground. So basically, what you want to do is to sew things together like it would make sense in the real world. Obviously, this is not a real garment. You can't just take it out and wear it. So there is no needle and thread involved. But every single sewing line that you see on an actual t-shirt or dress or pair of pants should be translated into the application. It should be the same. So if you're looking at a dress and you're thinking, wow, that line in the middle is weird why did they put a seam there then you put a seam there <laughs> everything that something else in the real world does you do it here so for example with this top sleeves are sewn usually somewhere down here or right here like under the armpit and above the shoulder so that's where I made my seam and also seams are on the side of the shirt as well so that's where I made mine so you just want to make sure it makes sense so with this top here are the sewing lines now it can look like a lot at first because of all the colors and all the little dashes and everything but do not worry it is very very simple so here we have the same top without any sewing lines at all now if you want to see what happens obviously it falls to the ground like a gorgeous i don't know accordion so to add the sewing lines it's very very easy we will go ahead and move these apart so you can get a better view now this is a very 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 simple mesh it is nothing too crazy nothing too wild um sometimes like for example let me just pull one up for you um there is a little bit more involved if you were doing like let's say this dress i just put out literally today on june 6th well june 7th technically but i've put the listing up today there is as you can see a little bit more involved so there's a lot more sewing that goes on with this than that say this but it's still the basic principle that will get you from this to this so with that being said let's teach you how to do it okay okay all right so first things first these are your sewing icons right here once you've made your garment and everything and everything looks gorgeous and you want to sew it together you push one of these this one is for segment sewing which means it is the entire line wherever you're doing it from point to point and this one is which means you pick and choose where it starts and where it ends. And it sews to wherever you choose. Now this is just to edit your sewing lines that you've already made. And this is to show any of the lines you've already made as well. To actually sew something, you just press and press. And those little lines that show up looks like you're sewing. Now you do want to make sure that when you're sewing something, if you're sewing something just regular lines like, like this, you don't want them to be like this. Because it will try to twist the seam and it'll screw everything. If this does happen to you, just make sure to push Control B, which changes it back to how it's supposed to be it just re reverses the sewing lines so now with that being said if you're having trouble figuring out what goes to white you're like how do i know what to sew to oh my gosh it's so overwhelming do not worry one simple little trick you can use is if you just click right here a blue dot will show up on this garment and on this garment little piece right here if you're like well how do i don't know what it goes to turn around shift click on another one just by like the edge and there's another dot so you know that goes to that perfect click shift click beautiful and the same over here i know where they go so i'm gonna go ahead and do them <laughs> and like again see when i did this it still made the crossed lines so Control b back to normal the rule of thumb is what you want is if the dash is up at the top you want the dash to be up at the top when you're making the second line if not it'll be done here and it'll show you the crosses sometimes you do want that if you're making a specific type of piece but for main editing or making of something very simple you want it to be together like this now sleeves and pants and skirts and hems and all this stuff i still mess up on because i'm 
I'm a ditz. So do not worry if you are doing something and you totally mess up and it ruins the whole thing because we have this cute little thing called Control Z. You just do it once and it's gone. Poof, like it never happened. You can rework it, figure out what went wrong, try to fix it, and it'll be a gorgeous little time. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew these together. Again, if you don't know which one it goes to or which one you're even working on, click. Oh gorgeous and then oh goodness gracious and then shift click and you got two gorgeous dots that you can't even see and then that one did it wrong so control b perfect and now you should have everything sewn together and it should look a little bit like this if you're making the exact same garment it's really easy it's just a simple one two three i'll just show you real quick just a very simple very sim simple you go up at an angle down at an angle down straight over straight up at an angle over at an angle then you take this little curve icon and you curve here you get a curve there and then you take this up because you made it too low <laughs> gorgeous take this control c then control r and you got yourself exactly what i made so now once you have this you just push the space bar or simulate up, to, up here and as voila you have a gorgeous little top with medium length sleeves or whatever it's actually not a bad top but like what would i do with it i don't know so that's basically it once you're done you're done and you just file export as a dot obj make sure that your name as such gorgeous and then you push Make sure to select all avatars is deselected so that way you don't take her gorgeous body with you because it's annoying to delete <laughs> and everything else. Make sure it's welded, make sure it's a single object, make sure that all patterns are selected and it's thin, unified UV coordinates, yada yada yada, in meters or whatever this, I don't even know. And then okay, and you've got a gorgeous top that you can now do things with. Like I said, it's a learning curve. So like once you are in it and doing it, just fumble around with it because sometimes you have to use this free sewing where you have to like do this much of this and to get that. And so it's just, you really have to just play around with it. So that is basically it i hope you like this little tutorial if you did please make sure to leave a like at the bottom and subscribe to my channel if you are cute which you are because you all are cute i just i just know i have i just have like that you know spidey sense so what can i tell you um but also if you want to push the notification button you can i don't think it works because that's what i hear other youtubers say so gorgeous um but if you want to you can if you want to stay up to date with all my stuff you can uh follow my website christopher067.com which i post all of my cc on there plus some extras that don't get seen anywhere else so with that being said i hope you enjoyed this video i have some other videos planned for the future that are more like entertainment style and more tutorial style so i really hope you like this if you did do all the things i told you to do a minute ago because i don't want to say them again so again sorry that i talked really really fast i'm like nervous <laughs> So yeah, all right, I hope this helped you. If you have questions, you can leave them in the comments below. You can email me, I'll leave it down there in the description box, whatever, you, whatever you're feeling. All right, hope you guys are having a great day, night, morning, evening, you know, brunch time, whatever you're doing, whenever you're seeing this, hope you're having a lovely time. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.